Hey guys, so today is the beginning of my new crafty week. Actually, today is already Monday, so today is the 10th. And I was supposed to start filming yesterday, but basically I didn't have the time. Uh, because it was too late when I remembered that I haven't filmed. I'm sorry for the shadow, but it's really, really late. It's about 12 o'clock at night, and I am... <laughs> Um, I'm actually having trouble with the lighting. I don't know, maybe this way. Anyways, um, as you can see, this is what I've been stitching for the last day and a half. I'm going to say day and a half because I started it yesterday on Sunday and I've stitched. Well, I'm going to show you on Saga in a second. I don't remember the amount. But I have gotten a um, good amount of stitching with this. And today I was stitching. I actually started today with something else. But I'm starting to have trouble with some of my kits. So I have moved to this one again by the end of the day. As you can see how much craziness is going on in here. <laughs> it's just looking so confetti <laughs> so much confetti well eventually it comes together and it looks really really beautiful because the picture itself is really colorful and beautiful i don't know how much the colors are showing but they are really really bright and cool and i don't know how to say it but um it is a hard project to stitch it is a hard project to stitch just because of the amount of singles that are in here so take under consideration then if you take on Himera uh, just like Hyde and maybe even more because you have plans in here but it is difficult to stitch it's not crazy big of course it depends on what count of fabric you use but on 25 count it is a small ish picture but um, I don't know. It is so fun to stitch. I don't know why I enjoy it so much. <laughs> For some reason, I just love this project. Plus, um, I'm, again, I'm having a little bit of a trouble with, um, two of my kits that I'm going to tell you about in a second. But let's check on Saga what we have done. This is my program. And this is... The lighthouse. All right, lighthouse on a cliff, fourteen point five percent, which is a good, good progress. I'm dying to see the twenty percent, but that will happen um, pretty soon, I guess. So this is the area that I am stitching. Quite a big area, actually. I usually don't take on areas that big. But I decided to do that because the fabric is, the count, I mean, is really, really small. So it's fine to spread out so much. Plus, there are so many singles again that um, if I take a smaller area, it will be really difficult because I won't be able to stitch. I, I guess I'll have like two stitches in one color in one like piece that I do. So, um... I did choose to stitch a larger area, but as you can see, after I finish it, I will have a smaller one to stitch. So hopefully that won't be that difficult. So let's see what we have with our dates. Okay, so as you can see on the 9th, I've already started stitching this. It took uh, 858 half crosses to finish. Um, so that's a good amount for this. I mean, a best that I've done is on the second and it was 1,339 half crosses. But that was like a fully stitchy day. <laughs> I'm not a very fast stitcher, especially in projects like this one, which are pretty difficult. So today I continue to stitch this. It was my second project for today and today is the 10th and I have stitched more 
um, 466 more have crosses. So altogether, it uh, it's good progress. <laughs> With two day stitching worth, it's a very good progress. So let's move to the next project that I'm stitching. Um, I mean, that I have stitched today. And I'll explain something to you. Okay, so this is Chimera. For those who don't remember, this is Chimera number one. The first one that I've started. And I am stitching it on a um, millennium frame. I'm sure that a lot of you know this frame. It's really good. But it is really heavy, so I do have a way to stitch on it. I mean, I am planning in the future to get a stand, um, a floor stand, I guess, that I can lay these frames on because it's getting a little hard to hold them. You know, like I need to change stitching position. My position for now is just sitting on a couch and putting the upper side on my knee and the lower side is laying on my stomach, on my belly. <laughs> so that's really comfortable for me. I mean, the position itself is comfortable for me because I am, you know, like holding it really close. I don't have to hold it in my hands because that's impossible. It's like... It's wood, so it's large and it's really heavy. So uh, the thing that I realized today, like I said, I guess in my last video, my belly is growing with the pregnancy. I am 24 weeks and four days. So I'm going to be six months and a couple of days. And the belly is getting in the way. So it's getting really difficult to hold these frames. And like I split, like I explained how I stitch to lay them on my belly because it's getting too heavy and it's getting too high. So I don't have a, another position to put this frame in. Um, Maybe I'll need to try to lay it on a table, but then I'll need to sit by a table and that won't be very comfortable. So I don't really know what to do for now. I have been stitching this little area, as you can see. Again, I'm sorry for the little shadow, but I'm trying to avoid it. The lamp over my head is shadow, throwing shadow on this. Anyways, as you can see, this is what I have stitched. Today, um, I am trying to progress with it as much as I can. I mean, I do love this project. It's really, really fun to stitch. Plus, I love 18 Count, one of my favorites. And the colors are beautiful, but it's uncomfortable. And once you get uncomfortable with your, you know, projects, with your works, with your designs, with your stitching, I don't know, call it as you want, um, it's getting annoying and then you just don't want to pick that anymore um now imagine that this frame is that big and it's like huge and the frame that i stitch my joy sunday on is even bigger bigger so it's much bigger it's like 70 something centimeters long so no Actually, that one is the middle one, so it's like 60-something centimeters long. But it still is really, really heavy. I mean, it's larger than this one. So I don't know how I'm going to stitch two of these projects. I thought, I had this thought today that maybe I need to just put them aside and not stitch them until I have the baby or, I don't know. I just don't want to put them aside again and just, you know, stop progressing with them because I really like the both of them. So I don't really know what I'm going to do. We'll see. Maybe I'll find some solution. Uh, for now, I got really frustrated with the whole, you know, holding the frame. It wasn't comfortable to stitch today, so I did progress that much. As you can see, this is my Saga 13.4%. I have, and that's not much of a progress actually, because um, let me show you how much I've stitched. So I also 
have this segment in this project because I realized that that's much more comfortable for me to use. And if you open it, well, actually, it's a good amount, but I don't know, I could have stitched more. I just kept leaving it. Today, I stitched 407 half, like full crosses. So, considering other days, it's a good amount of stitching. I actually thought that I was stitching less than that, but. I mean, it's not this fun because it's not comfortable to hold and to, you know, to work on. So, again, I don't know what I'm going to do for now. Um, I'll think about it tomorrow. Maybe I'll find a different location or maybe I'll just keep stitching as I am until I can't anymore. And then I just really will put it aside and wait until, um, until I can, you know, hold it like I like like you know until the baby comes so anyways that's my update for these two days worth of stitching and hopefully this week will be progressive and I will be able to do some uh, good progresses with my designs mm, we'll see tomorrow I'm actually working morning from nine o'clock so I need to get to bed and get some rest because I have like half day of work tomorrow and hopefully I'll be able to stitch when I come back so uh we'll see what I'm going to stitch tomorrow and how I'm going to uh handle this so have a good night and I will see you tomorrow so today is the 20 no today is not the 20th today is the 12th <laughs> I actually have my dates all mixed up anyways um i haven't filmed yesterday i did not have anything interesting to show you i actually didn't stitch almost at all i just picked up this little project and well i did a little bit of stitching but I continued to stitch this again today. I will insert an image of how it looks like before I started uh, stitching yesterday so you can have some indication of what I had before I picked it up again. But um, to be honest, I really, really love this picture. This is also a Himera, by the way. This is uh, Ruby Thais. And um, I really love the picture itself, the, you know, the project, but for some reason it just doesn't work that well for me. I mean, I do enjoy stitching it every once in a while, but it doesn't progress as well as I thought because it's kind of an easy stitch, as you can see, uh, for now at least. Most of it is reds, most of it is, you know, basically a fill in of one color or maybe a blend or something but it's most mostly red so it's a really easy stitch but um for some reason i just don't pick it up as much as i would have liked to i don't know why i just don't have the urge to stitch it as much um so this is one of my projects that i really really take my time with I don't really stitch it that much. I really had the urge to stitch my um, other Himera, like my lighthouse, which I am basically I'm in love with that one. I don't know why, but I didn't. I just wanted to stick with this one for the last two days because I wanted to progress with it just a little bit. Um, it feels like I haven't done anything at all. But let me show you what I have on Saga as for a progress. So this is, oh gosh, this is my project, 22.8% done from this piece. Um, that's quite good, but that's not that much. As you can see, you know, like I have a larger area of stitching of each color. All the colors are really logical. I mean, you can move like finish this move here or you can go like this way for now i haven't finished this little part but once i move here i can just go all the way like this and you know just go down here i mean all the color progressions are really 
you know easy so it's not a hard stitch but something keeps me from it I don't know why something is not right uh, so as you can see the 11th and the 12th the last two days I've been stitching basically the same amount because today I have sat down to stitch it a little bit and then I dropped and then I picked it up again and I don't know why but I really reached basically the same amount the last time I picked it up was on the 31st uh, and <laughs> that's quite a while ago so um, yeah I don't know what's happening with this one Hopefully it will pick up because I'm having trouble with my larger frames as I said so I try to pick up my smaller frames Well, the projects are still big, but the frames are lighter. So anyways, what I have um, I have this strange idea that I want to stitch a pillow for those of you who know a um, company named Pana uh, they make kits with beautiful designs for cushions. So they have like square cushions and they have um, like cushions in the form of a cat, a dog, a plane, no not a plane, a rocket, a car, a guitar, I mean uh, all kinds of beautiful designs. So I kind of have this idea that I want to start, I mean not start but I don't have the kits yet <laughs> but um to you know buy a kit and start it of something for a boy like I found two pillows one of a beautiful like fun rocket and one of a basically the same color car like a taxi car it's red but it's still a taxi and I'm thinking about ordering two of these kits and just started stitching them and make a pillow um it won't be like a sleep on pillow but it will kind of a decoration type of pillow but it looks really really fun so if you have been stitching pillows or uh kits from pana which are also pillows i would love to hear about you know how it came out and if you enjoyed it um, but I really have the urge to order these two kits. So um, for now, I'm trying to not to because I have too many projects going on already. But still, I'm thinking about it. But for now, I have found two uh, designs that were online. These two are also pillows and these two are also designs from Pana. And as you can see, it's actually an owl and um, a turtle. <laughs> they all have like an Aztec kind of feeling, but I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It is really fun. I mean, it looks really beautiful. I have seen this one stitched on YouTube by some Russian stitchers and it's so beautiful when it's finished. I mean, when you make it into a pillow, the pillow is the form of this owl and basically there are not a lot of colors. It's be mostly like browns. All of this, I mean, not a lot. A little bit of colors I mean how many colors are here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven colors which is very easy it's stitched on 11 count or a 14 count that depends on you um, if you want to make a bigger pillow you can use a 11 count actually I have no idea I think on 11 count you stitch with three strands if I'm not mistaken but Anyways, I have found this design and I have found this turtle, which is also from the same type of, you know, you have these. It's really easy. The same amount of colors, uh, the same color, you know, the same brown colors. I, I've lost my terrain of thought. Sorry. Anyways, um... I'm thinking maybe I'll buy the materials and just try to do the owl just to you know so I won't have to order the whole kit but still the whole idea was to buy the 
kit from a store like to have a full kit and to stitch the child ish you know designs just to make some beautiful decorations for my baby so um that was my thought i don't know how it will come out eventually maybe i will end up ordering two pillows or maybe one pillow just for trial and then i will definitely be showing you that once i get it i will be starting it right away so that's my thought for um my future project um i actually have so many plans for future projects but i'm keeping myself from doing that because i don't want to start many designs and you know just not finish them ever anyways uh today is over i'm going to bed soon tomorrow morning i'm working from eight o'clock until four so i will have like the second half of the day to do whatever i want so we'll see um if i'll be able to stitch hopefully i will be able to do something because i really need that every day and i will try to update you tomorrow if not i will update you on friday and saturday so i will see you a little bit later today's the 15th it's saturday actually today is the last day of my crafty week but um i'm kind of disappointed about this week i didn't have a lot of stitching done um yesterday i didn't stitch um, I can't say like at all maybe just a couple of stitches and that wasn't that much <laughs> of a progress but I've been feeling kind of down lately I don't know maybe I'm a hormonal <laughs> or something but um, I've been having trouble with my stitching and with my moods and a lot of thoughts about the future and what we're going to do when the baby comes and we have a lot of shopping to do and some of my projects are getting a little difficult to stitch because of the way they are um, organized and I really don't want to change the organization on them because I'm having well well my organization for those projects are perfect is perfect for them so i don't want to change it but i don't know what i'm going to do anyways um for today this is what i've been doing i did progress with it quite a bit um i've had a whole day to myself mostly <laughs> and i had a bit of stitching done so let me show you my saga because i'm running out of battery and that's dangerous okay so 15.7 percent done from this project this is chimera by the way uh and this is the lighthouse so lighthouse on cliff anyways let's open up the timing and Basically, today is the most of what I have stitched out of all of the, you know, the list down there since the day I started. 1,525 half crosses, which is a very good, very good amount. Can you really imagine? I haven't stitched this for five days. I've stitched it on the 10th. And then I picked it up again today on the 15th. So it took me a while. And that's kind of bad. But I'm thinking that I'm going to be stitching this much more now. Because this is one of the few projects that I am still able to stitch comfortably. Because it's on a Q-snub and pretty small Q-snub. Well... It's kind of, you know, not that big. I think it's about like 25 centimeters or so. So um, it's good for this and it's light. And my Chimera, my, um, you know, Scorpio is on a big frame, on a Millennium frame. And that is a wood frame. And it's really, really heavy. So I'm having trouble holding it. 
I don't have a floor stand or any stand yet that I can lay it on and not hold it in my hands or in my lap. So it's getting hard to do with my, you know, belly growing and well, it's not comfortable and I am not enjoying it, you know, being uncomfortable stitching. So basically, I don't know what I'm going to do. I was thinking that I'm going to put aside two of my big projects that are on the frames, meaning the lighthouse from um, from Joy Sunday and the Chimera, the Scorpio Chimera, which is, I don't know, it's too bad because I really like both of them and I don't, I'm afraid that I'm not going to come back to them if I start new kits. But if I will put them aside, I haven't decided yet, I will definitely pick up another project. The organization will be much lighter, so I will be able to stitch something else for now until I'll be able to pick it up again. But I haven't decided yet because I am really worried that I will put them aside and then I will never come back to them. And I don't want that to happen. So. I don't know, I'm still thinking about it. I'll figure it out when I, you know, when I'll figure it out. <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't have anything to show you as far as my diamond painting. I haven't done any of my diamond painting this week. It was, I don't know why, but it wasn't one of my uh, projects during this week. I don't know. I don't even know how to say this. I just didn't have the urge to do it. I didn't have the mood. I don't know why, but I didn't even touch it once. So hopefully next week I'll be able to do some of it. Maybe I'll have a better mood. Maybe I, stuff will stop being so, you know, I will stop being so moody. So yeah, wish me luck for my next week and I will update you soon. On my next crafty week and for today this is it and have a great week have a great weekend and um, subscribe give me thumbs up and write comments it will really help me and help my channel of course and I will <laughs> be reading everything you say so see you soon and bye bye